Hey everyone, Kyle Sullerud here. I'm gonna show you a tool that I've developed that you can use to create negative keyword lists for your AdWords and Amazon campaigns. Um, it's brand new, so if you're watching this video in the future, the site might look different, um, but this is the, the first version of the site that you're getting to see right now. It's located at negativekeywordpro.com. Uh, first thing you should do when you go to the site is sign up on the right for our mailing list. There's a ton of new features we're planning to add to the site, um, including integration with your AdWords account. So getting on the mailing list is a way to ensure that you'll be the first to know about those things. Um, to actually use the tool, pretty intuitive, uh, very simple. What you're gonna do is enter a keyword into this box here. So. For example, let's say you are uh, setting up a campaign for a plumber. Um, we'll enter plumber here and then click get suggestions. And what this is going to do is show us the words that are most commonly searched for in Google uh, next to plumber. Um, you'll notice a lot of locations in the results here. Uh, because of how this is integrated with Google, it randomly chooses a location uh, since Google is location-based now. Uh, so in this case, it looks like we're seeing a lot of locations around Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina. Um, but we're also seeing a lot of high-quality negative keywords that are going to save us a lot of money. Um, all you do is go down this list and you can check anything you see that you don't want to pay for. So plumber's salary, plumber's putty, plumber's tape, plumber's crack, plumber's don't wear ties, and you can check the full phrase or it's broken just down into the words too. So if you want to exclude anything with ties, you can just check that and you wouldn't need to check the entire phrase. Plumber snake. Um, you go down the whole list doing that and what you're going to end up with here is a list of negative keywords. If you need to remove something, you can just click remove here um, or you could also uncheck the box over here. That'll also remove it. Once you have your list, you click copy all and then you simply copy and paste this into your negative keyword list. Uh, let's do another example. Let's say you're selling uh, diamond rings. Uh, so again, we're going to see uh, all these suggestions of words that are commonly searched for next to diamond rings. Um, depending on what kind of rings you're selling, um, you're going to probably want to exclude different keywords. So you might want to exclude cheap. You definitely want to exclude lyrics, bar stools. Um, again, just go down this whole list. It may take you a while, but with the amount of money you'll save from excluding these searches, it'll be more than worth it. When you have your list, copy all and copy and paste this into your account. Um, you also might want to do different variations of your words. So we just did diamond rings. Maybe now we'll just do rings. That'll give us some different results. And another way to do this is to just select all of these. And then you can go through and remove anything that you don't want to see as a negative keyword. So you might want to remove these for men, for women. Um, if it looks like most of the suggestions are good suggestions, then I'd recommend doing the select all. Um, otherwise, you can just go select one keyword at a time. Either way, you're going to end up with a 
really comprehensive list that you can copy and paste into your campaign. Um, so that's how to use the tool. Again, we're going to be adding more features to this. So sign up for the mailing list and we hope you enjoy using Negative Keyword Pro.